and welcome to this news edition. An earthquake of magnitude 3.5 on the Richter scale was recorded on September 5th at 8 a.m., 10 minutes, and 40 seconds in the morning. Its epicenter was located about 13 kilometers north and northeast of Anse Rouge in the department of Artibonite and 22 kilometers southeast of Jean Rabel in the northwestern department. Information confirmed by the Technical Unit of Seismology, UTS, a structure of the Office of Mines and Energy, BME, and the Permanent Secretariat of Risk Management and Disaster, according to a statement signed by the General Director of the BME, the engineer Claude Poiptit. Administrative measures of up to three months were adopted by senators against the Chamberlain Onodieu Louis, cited in a corruption scandal announced at the president of the institution. Karl Murat Contab said that these provisions were taken at the conference of committee chairmen referring to articles 191 and 188.2 of the decree revising the civil service. Mr. Contav also confirmed the formation of a special commission of inquiry of this issue. <laughs> Fritz William Michel will continue his journey in Parliament before he can probably move to the Prime Minister's office. He will shortly be invited to present his policy statement to the Senate of the Republic. In the meantime, the commission responsible for analyzing Michel's file and those of his government members has already been set up. It is composed as follows. Wilfrid Gelin, Luma Dieudonne, Étienne Jean Rigaud, Bélisère, Juanique Pierre, Naroum Marcellus, and Ronald Larache. The independent senators will choose three of theirs to complete the commission, indicated the president of the senatorial institution, Karl Murat Contav, in a tweet. However, during a meeting Thursday with the journalist, President Cantav said that the structure will be completed on the same day. The executive director of the National Human Rights Network, RNDDH, Pierre Espérance, says he is astonished at the speed with which the Prime Minister's policy statement, named Fritz William Michel, was voted in the Chamber of Deputies at Tuesday, September 3rd. Mr. Espérance deplores the fact that the Petrocaribe file, the case of the Lassaline massacre, among others, have been removed from Mr. Michel's program. The National Federation of Health Workers, FENATRAS, threatens to observe a walkout from mid-September to demand compliance with the agreement protocol of February 2017 signed with the parent ministry. The president of this structure, Levi Melo Felix, particularly denounces the non-compliance with the MSPP commitments relating in the particularly to salary adjustments. The trade unionists have said their messenger salaries do not allow workers to cope with the country's acute economy crisis. A broad hurricane Dorian killed at least 20 people and caused unprecedented damage to the Bahamas archipelago. The Minister of Health has said that the balance sheet could become even heavier in the next few hours. Rescue operations and home exploration have just started. Prime Minister Hubert Menes, who had the opportunity to fly over the Abacus Islands, the most affected speaks of generational devastation throughout the archipelago. Houses are disembarked, unrecognized. The hurricane was in Category 5 before falling on Sunday on the Bahamas. He was then downgraded to Category 2 but meteorologists have put him back in Category 3 on Wednesday night. The United States estimates that about 70,000 people need immediate help in the country. $1 million has already been released from an emergency fund to provide first aid. After the Bahamas, Dorian heads up to the South Carolina, USA, winds up to 185 kilometers per hour are waiting to hit the coastal city of Charleston, Florida should be spared. Russian justice imposes heavy prison sentences 
on two protesters. Kirill Zukov is sentenced to three years in prison for causing physical pain to a police officer, while a video of the incident does not seem to corroborate the facts alleged against him. For his part, Evgeny Kovalako is sentenced to three and a half years in prison for throwing a trash in the direction of the police officer. In both cases, the defense lawyers announced their intention to appeal. That's all the news for now. Thank you for watching. And if you would like to rewatch this news edition, you may do so on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and RadioTelepacific.com. You may also watch it on cable channel 384 for Nassau Bahamas Island. And from all of us at Info Pacific, have a good night.